Hello everyone, my name is Gleason and welcome to this video. Uh, today I'm going to be showcasing my latest project, my first ever major redstone um, build, and it is a fully programmable redstone animation display. And so before we do anything else, I'm going to show you how it I mean, show you what it does, not how it works. And here we've got the display. It's very black so that you don't um so that you don't see the torches and stuff when it's not on. To turn it on we flick the switch. Or the lever, whatever you want to say. So I I was sort of brain dead for ideas to come up with the animation after I built it. So I'll try and explain what's actually happening. But I can turn on any pixel in any frame during the animation. So it's, it's, it just wrote H and an E. Now it's moving to the left and writing an L. It's it's sort of hard to see, I know, but and um, as you can see, we've got some troubles here with the delay on the torches turning on being proper. And now it's writing an O, so it's just sort of like a scrolling hello word. And so that'll scroll off. And now I try to. Um, do a little rendition of the game Snake. So we've got the little guy coming up on the top right. He's three torches long. Turns down. Yeah, it's. And then he, now he's four pieces long and blah blah blah. But that's basically the display. It can display any animation that I like. There is a bit of delay between the flitch and s <laughs> between flicking the switch and the actual animation, but oh well. So head back out, turn everything back on, and fly. So what we've got here is seven memory cells: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and each one. Uh, contains 44 frames. So if we look here, I'll show you this one. And we turn the thing on. We can see it's very loud, but we can see these. This clock, which is puts a pulse in each of these, and these push. Blue wire pushes each row of pistons. So basically, this all goes around in a big loop. It's very interesting. I wonder why it's done that. It normally be going at double time, but for some reason, that's the first time I've ever seen it do that. After like 100 times. But basically, these cycle through and turn on the different um, inputs or outputs. So I've had a bit here. There's just a row of stuff there, and that turned all them on. And of course, with this much moving stuff, you're going to get a few graphical glitches. Let's go up here. It's slowly moving around, which it shouldn't be, but no. And so, as these turn on or off, it takes the um, the stuff, the um, signals and basically puts them right into the back of the screen. This is one of the hardest parts of the whole thing, making each input output from here go into the right places. But I got there eventually. So each one of these actually I go turn the flag a bit. So if we go over here, this it's each one of these is one row, so this is the first row, second row, third row, and so on. And then each one across is the columns. So this, so right now, column four will be lit up, and column eight will be lit up on row three, basically. It's a way of explaining it. Um, this is basically the on, the input, just taking it all the way back to the master. Switch over here. That'll that take the red wire takes the whether it wants to be off or on to each of the cells. This piston turns it on off or on. So if this is so 
If they're on, this pistol will be extended and complete this circle. Yeah, turn that off. It's loud and annoying and laggy. Yeah, so that's basically what this whole thing is. And since... <laughs> that's kind of embarrassing because it's broken now, but you can tell what you can you can hopefully by the end of this you know what it does and you kind of understand how it works and it's moving a lot slower now thank you for anyway thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time Doo -doo -doo.